If you follow my channel, you may have noticed I haven't been uploading videos since a nasty tumble on Mount Fern in September. This is because I injured my leg and couldn't use it for three months, although eventually I did climb Maple Mountain to see if it would hold up. It did not. But I got to see a great view for the first time in a month, and I went irresponsibly fast on the fire road descent, which is better than no descent at all, but it's no single track. I was a bit frustrated that even out here in BC, I've got to drive almost half an hour to get to nearby trails. When I look out my window, I see beautiful hills all around, but nothing on trail forks. And it's a really compelling area. The Cowichan Lake Trailblazer Society is a group of hikers and cyclists who wish to transform the region into a summer mountain bike destination like Squamish. A man named Bob leads the Trailblazers. He keeps us updated on his efforts to revive old trails, occasionally getting us out for trail day, removing large trees and raking the surface, getting it ready for use in the spring. We'll come back to Bob later. Our local trails are essentially abandoned and in disrepair thanks to, among other things, major storms in December and January. But don't worry, winter doesn't happen here on Vancouver Island. I went out for a recent trail day and ran into a bit more snow than I anticipated. Oh man, are these tire tracks off this thing? What the fuck? I don't think so. You know what it looks like? Is that these little boulders are making what looks like tire tracks on the way down the snow. Cause look. Caught red-handed. Do 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 do. This is probably a bad idea. I mean, look at that. That just screams bad idea. I'm struggling so much right here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I don't think this is even possible, honestly. It's just gonna be a liability to even get back. Oh, oh wait, there we go. Get on the high side. This works. Look at that. Who's stupid now, huh? Oh shit. It's still me. I'll check in later if I'm suddenly not stupid anymore. <gasps> it's so single track that there's not even a like look how far I've made it. We're in some real fucking trouble. Because I've only made it to here. What is it? People are always telling me to stop complaining and just have a sense of adventure. Yeah. There we go. The thing is, I'm not George R.R. R. Martin. I can't just make something from nothing. That's what I'm trying to do here. Oh my god. Look at the effort. I... You can't say I never tried to have fun. I gotta find some people eventually, right? Hey, look, some loam. Ooh, that sounds so cool. It's been a while. Evidence of trail work. It smells fresh cut, man. I'm upon them. I see people. Woo! Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. I did not expect that much snow on the way up over this way. Oh yeah. Yeah. How's it going? How are we gonna cut that big tree? I think they plan on leaving it or getting an arborist to come in. Huh, because you could like channel under it. Cut the big under, yeah. Yeah, that'd be so much cooler. That would be. I went back a couple days later to ride the trail we'd worked on. And it was a mess, but it's a good start. I think it'll be much better once things thaw out a bit more, and we can clear away all of the cut trees. Oh, yeah. Trail work's 
zone. It doesn't look like much here, but this short run produced so much joy after months of being off the bike. I feel like I can redo that better. <laughs> Why do I reference Galaxy Quest so much? Why does this trail look like it just ends here? Not giving up. Not surrendering. Galaxy Quest. Okay, I tried. There's a ton of these enormous down trees leading over the trail. And each one makes you feel like you're entering a secret garden. Note to self. Bring my trails on every time. The further I went on the route, the more I felt it was a trail for philosophers, the thinker. Wondering why are things so neglected? How did they come to be this way? So I reached out to Bob to see if we could chat about what to do from here. He was happy to meet me for an interview. I've had questions about land access and trail building for a while, and he's just the person to clear things up. For economic development to occur, you can't have the, the trailhead over there in Bald Mountain. Yeah, you know, exactly. that's the idea. We want to make bike stores and pizza shops. That's why I mentioned, like, if we're going to do something, we got to do it closer to the downtown area. Because, so, you know. Yeah, and that, so I thought, I was sitting in Jake's when they asked me that question, and you look out the window in their banquet room, the room at the back, and I was looking out at all this from Masachi Lake to Scutts Falls. You can see the whole range on this side. And I thought, there it is. And then you've got the Couch and Valley Trail and the Trans Canada Trail sitting right there. You can launch from your back of your pickup at Country Grocer, um, picking up some pepperoni and cheese and some water, whatever you want to get. You can launch from there, get on the Couch and Belly Trail, and be out here in less than five minutes. You can be in the woods. Oh, I accidentally took the Trans Canada east to um, to Duncan once when I meant to do the Beaver Valley Trail. <laughs> it was pretty interesting. That's an old railroad track, isn't it? Because yeah. it's just bumpy the whole way. Yeah. yeah. So what's wrong with having privately owned parkland? Other than that, they can just tell you to get off whenever they want to. They'll sell it one day, oh. you know, for the for the benefit of their shareholders. Yeah. Having a tough year, they'll sell it. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking is like when the private landowner has the rough year, how likely is it that the municipality buys it and makes it a park? Well, the CBRD has a fund to do that, but they're just not focused out here. But meanwhile, we're buying an island in the Ladysmith Harbor because we want to preserve it for kayakers that goes underwater twice a day when the tide goes up. Wow, how many kayakers are on the on the council there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but you know, as ladies miss stuff on the main, it's like us out here. We get we get kind of ignored unless we speak up. It sounds corrupt, it isn't, it's just nature, right? Like I'm gonna protect my look after my house and my neighborhood before I start venturing fifty miles off the beaten track to look after that. Right. And probably it also has to do with the fact that the people who come out here and want certain things and leave if it doesn't develop and then there is no more voice who wants that out here 
So that's what I'm currently facing is like after I rode the Robert Brown trail yesterday, I wondered like, am I going to be happy here? Because I, lo I really love downhill mountain biking and I, I like the trail. I could tell that once the trees are all cleared off and the snow and ice um, thaw away, it'll be a really fun loamy shot down the hill. And um, there's a few there's a few little challenging spots, but it's nothing like what I was witnessing in Squamish, and that's nothing on you personally. I understand that that's a lack of manpower, um, because you had uh, like 12 people out there, 10 people or six people, I don't know how many exactly, working on the trails on Sunday last time. With all those people, it still wasn't possible to clear away that one trail. And it was um, like 20 meters or 40 meters of trail section that had all those trees on it, right? So that was a little bit of a frustration to me that like, it felt a little bit of an uphill never ending battle to just design and build all the trails that we want out here because it's hard. There's a lot of trees. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of things that'll knock down. Even once you build the tree, the windstorm will come by and now you have to go and clear it all out again. Yeah. Because nobody's done this before. Yeah. It's been going on in Squamish for how many years? Well, illegally for n numerous. You yeah. Know? So we get need to attract more illegal people. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. I'm, I'm the leader of this group and we're gonna play by the rules. So yeah, like, you're right, it is slow, but it is gonna happen. The other thing is that I tried to move some of those trees off the trail myself. I was like, I'm gonna be the hero. <laughs> the first one was frozen to the ground and I was like, I think I know why they left them all. And then yeah, I Yeah, we just on. cut, we could cut. We're gonna cut huh. with LiDAR imaging. Oh, cool. Yeah, because that's what we got access to. This, this $15,000 master plan is gonna go to. Yeah, they put the LiDAR on the drone, so they'll do yeah. it for you. Yeah, that's that'll cool. all happen. And with the Timber West, um, they probably stuff, already have the already there. Yeah. Right? I don't know why they don't just release it. So, well, they're going to, and that's part of this process is that she works for the municipality of North Cowichan. She has all the contacts that you're talking about, the Timber West and that, and we got the contacts because we have a letter with them saying they want this to happen. So it's just a matter of once we get the, the inventory of what we want, what we have and what we want to do, we just go to them. Okay. We're ready to sign. Let's yeah. get on this. And then we're ready to talk about payment too. So that's the phase where we're at here we're about we're about four or five months away from getting that sign and then fucking all hell's gonna break loose out there but there's a lot of things that aren't going to change the people that are out there doing it just keep doing what you're doing please and then you're going to upload it onto trail forks and we're going to hand that in as a as a proposed trail next year <laughs> nice <laughs> and yeah. and it's going to be done already and then all we got to do is put a sign on it it's already built. Yeah, I need one of those Trail Boss tools. Have you seen those? We're gonna get it. It's, it's a collapsible tool that goes in your pack and it's got like um, the, the chopper and the raker and... Uh, I've got a lot of news and if you're curious what's going on behind the scenes, be sure to sign up for Patreon. For just $1 a month, you get early access and exclusive content, including an extended version of this interview. And until next time, you know what to do. Go ride.